All right, today's Wellness Wednesday here on What's New, and today we're talking about self-care. Very important, Betsy. Very important. September is Self-Care Awareness Month, and if you have never had a self-care routine, now might actually be a great time to start one. And as a local psychologist explains, it can be beneficial for both your physical and your mental health. Self-care is anything that, you know, kind of we deliberately kind of do or maybe in some instances refrain from doing uh, with our own well-being in mind. Anything that promotes our own physical, emotional, or psychological, or spiritual well-being uh, doesn't really have to be any more complicated than that. Well, Dr. Sacco with the Cleveland Clinic says self-care should be intentional, meaning you should make sure you set time aside in your normal routine to do it. It doesn't need to be something demanding or expensive either. What does matter is that it makes you feel good or relaxed, like going for a walk outside if you enjoy nature, taking a bubble bath, journaling, socializing with friends, or meditating. Yeah, meditating is a big one. I know a lot of people are doing that now. It can also be something physical like working out or eating healthy. For those that do that regularly and then miss it, they understand something in my life isn't right. Take the time to do it. Dr. Sacco says self-care is not about being selfish. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It allows someone to take some much needed time for themselves. Doing this kind of work uh, thoughtfully in a very planned way, it is absolutely a vital part of us as uh, at an individual level being more effective in the world around us. And I will often say, especially, especially to, to women, um, you got to be, you know, it's the uh, oxygen mask on the airplane analogy. You know, you got to, they tell you, they tell you that when you get on, you got to put it on yourself first before you help others. That's right, mamas. I hope you're listening. Developing a self-care routine can take time in some cases, especially if you're trying to get used to new habits. So don't feel pressured to meet certain expectations or a deadline. Jay, what is your favorite self-care I like thing? To, I like to work out. Okay. And when I do that physical activity, I feel like my day is complete. Yep. When I miss it, all day long, I feel like something's off. Mine is hot shower. Long all good. Hot shower. Hot shower.